Hey folks, Malforan here. Welcome back to the Rise of the Habsburg campaign. If you weren't here for the last episode, uh, where were you? But also, uh, we got Austria. We we got a claim from the Pope. We did a war. We somehow won the war, even though we were at minus 100% at one point. Uh, but we turned that all around and uh, we finished it with just, uh, yeah, taking the claim, winning that war. So we're now uh, the Duke of Austria, as well as keeping our old duchy title as well over here. So our land is kind of split uh, split apart. Kind of like um, <laughs> Corinthia, Lotharingia, uh, Bohemia, everyone else in the, uh, in the HRE is currently doing it. But uh, yeah, so today we're going to be uh, consolidating our power here. Obviously, we just took it over. We've got that short reign penalty. We're also not uh, Bavarian, so a lot of our vassals and people like that don't like us. It's not too bad, though. We've also got the offensive war modifier because uh, we obviously just did that war against them and won. So uh, yeah, double reason not to like us. So uh, yeah, we're just going to be kind of shoring up our power. We're also getting a claim on... Uh, Oh, did I do this in the wrong place? Oh, I think I did. No. No, I didn't. Yeah, no, it's one county. Uh, yeah, we're also getting a claim on uh, Wien here. So we can move our capital here. And then we we can convert over to Bavarian if we want to. We might do that because we want this to kind of be our home going forwards. And Bavarian or... Uh, yeah, no, to be honest, Bavarian is probably the best way for us to do it. Maybe Hungarian. We'll see. We'll probably go Bavarian though, I think. Although, do you know what? I haven't actually seen what are their um, traditions. Strong believers. Zealous trait is more common. Humble is more common. Less likely to accept conversion, which is pretty good. County conversion resistance, plus 30. Opinion of different faiths, minus 15. Eh, I mean, it's all right then. Uh, stand and fight. We take less... Uh, we take less casual... No, we take more casualties, but we have more advantage. And uh, our toughness is better, but our armies cost more. And then hereditary hierarchy, rulers with poor education traits such as indulgent or wastrel or naive appeaser are distrusted. So is this, why do we, do we get anything good from this? Uh, tyranny loss minus 75%, long reign, bo long reign bonus plus 25%. I mean, that's good. It means your vassals and things like that aren't going to uh, rebel against you, obviously, the longer you play. Uh, which you already get, but obviously this bonus makes it better. Castle holdings, construction costs minus 15%, and feudal vassals give us 10% more money. It's okay. I suppose you're, you're not that often going to have those bad education trades, so it's okay. It's not the best. There is also that Bavarian Cisalpine one, which we could also take a look at later on as well. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I think we're just going to... Uh, yeah, let's just get going, I think, and see where today takes us. Broccoli or cauliflower... I was passing by the kitchen and I overheard my cook and his assistant arguing whether broccoli or cauliflower would be better for the meal they were preparing to make for dinner. Since the meal is meant for me, perhaps it should be prudent that I offer them my take on the matter. I prefer broccoli. I mean, is it, does it really matter? Uh, this gives us a medium health boost. I don't know why broccoli is more pious, but I guess it is. I don't care. They'll figure it out. Or why not both? I mean, we are, uh, well, no, trusting. We are arrogant. Yeah, why not both? <laughs> Give me both. I want both vegetables, please. And uh, I will just pick whatever. We've had this one um, a lot of times. So to be honest, I'm just going to pick this top one. And uh, yeah, like I say, we'll see. Uh, we're going to shore up our power base here. And then we're going to see where we're going to try head next. Um, I think we might try to take like Salzburg and uh stay a mark stay mark definitely how you pronounce it <laughs> but uh yeah once we get this claim we'll do that how long is that claim gonna take we'll, we'll take a look at this event in a second 12 years yeah you know i'm all right <laughs> i'm all right i'll wait four years yeah we'll try um we'll try to do this instead i'm not waiting 12 years for a claim that is pretty insane what we might do is we might try and take it some other way. Can we revoke? What happens if we try revoke his title? Oh, no, we have a truce with all these guys. Yeah, so we'll have to wait for the truce to end, and then we'll see. They might rebel against us, and then we can just steal the titles anyway. So we'll probably do this. Uh, scandalous priest. The Catholic world is appalled to learn that my Bishop Martin was caught in flagrante delico. Definitely how you pronounce that as well. So we're two for two today. With several young servants in his home. The poor aide who discovered them had to avert his eyes while the culprits grabbed... Uh, rush to grab their clothes and get dressed. While scandals among the clergy is nothing new, 
I mean, that's definitely true. It is disquieting for one to occur so close to home. So he just became our bishop, I think. No, no, he was the bishop from the old place. Yeah, in Bern. Our new bishop in Austria is actually like twice as good as him. Oh yeah, he's lustful. Yeah, that's... Uh, <laughs> he's, he's like the worst stats. Condemning for his transgressions. Um, oh no, we gained piety. But... Um, yeah, he's not going to like us, he's, and he's not going to endorse us anymore. Defend his character publicly, even at the risk of myself. Always shy, so we wouldn't do this. Um, maybe I should just stay quiet about this. We are shy. It is going to give us stress, just because it is a stressful option, just to basically not talk about it. Arrogant, shy, and trusting. Joe, we are trusting. So, Joe, let's do this one. <laughs> I don't want the top one. I don't want him not to like us, because he's going to give us less money. So here we go. Here, here come these rebellions we were going to get, obviously, pretty quickly. Um, I don't mind if if we lower Crown Authority, to be honest, in the short term, because we can just raise this back up later. It does mean we can't revoke titles. But we can probably just put it straight back up afterwards. But we'll see. We're probably going to play it quite safe, because we don't want something crazy going on. Although, we do have good allies, so we can probably uh, deal with any rebellions. There's no end to the opinions and wants of my son and heir, Otto. Half the time, he's telling me what to do instead of the way around. He's three years old. So if he's telling you what to do, you, you, you've got problems. Formidable or aggravating, it's, it's a fine line to walk. Yeah, okay. Yeah, sure. Oh, we got somebody to ransom? Oh, wait, no, has he got... Oh, he's got one of our prisoners. He's got one of our people. Yeah, George, sure. Let's do it. Actually, saying that, do we have any more prisoners from that war? We do. We have Sara. 19 stewardship? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna um recruit her. <laughs> and Bertrand. Um He's a great eminence. George, let's re let's recruit him as well. We need to probably increase the size of our court. We haven't got that many courtiers, to be honest. So we'll bring her in, and then we'll marry her matrilineally. Are we still low on knights? No, we've got enough knights, but I'm going to marry her off to someone who has high prowess anyway. I mean, it's always better to get somebody else. Steen. Danish. Yeah, here we go. Alpine Bavarian. He's got his cool hat on as well. How much prowess do you have? 13? What about Steen? 14. Sadistic. Sadistic Danish man. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. There we go. So he'll have come in. He'll now be one of our knights. War declared on a liege. Kaiser and Adelheid has been attacked by Duke Lamper of Lombardy. That seems like a bit of a miscalculation. Surely she has way more. Oh, she doesn't. <laughs> Never mind. I was just about to say, surely she's got way more troops than him. But uh, no, she doesn't. She has hardly any troops, to be honest. They're attacking... Can we see her maximum? Yeah, we can. Oh, do you know I, I, I would have just thought she'd have more than this. She's winning a war in uh, Valletia. But then, yeah. The, so he's just declared war because he wants the touch of Genoa, which is down here. Obviously. So we're not going to get involved in that. We're just going to let him fight it out, to be honest. Unless... Um, I think they could come and ask us if we want to join the war. But uh, we're not, we're not going to do that, to be honest. And then faction to install Count Adam on the Austrian throne. So we will have to fight off some of these, I would imagine. Oh, it's, it's his own um, faction that only he is in. I don't think we can... Uh, let's have a look, actually. No, you're married. Bar. Did we attack? Didn't we own that? I can't remember. Uh, yeah, we want to try find someone that we can marry. There we go. Do we have anyone? No, we don't have anyone who can marry her to get an alliance. Well, we'll just have to fight him off if he decides to do it. Uh, to be honest, call Hunt. Yeah, do you know what? Let's, let's hold a feast because this will... Sh well, hopefully, uh, this should make people like us a little bit more. Give us some more prestige. We might get an event that makes people like us. So we'll do that. A cheery gathering. That's the hope, anyway. Does it? Oh no. <laughs> My lord, the wine. We cracked open the next barrel. It's all gone bad. It has all gone bad. The feast is still raging, but without the drink, the mood is sure to dwindle at a cruel pace. And we look pretty petrified there. The wine merchant should. Joe, we'll pay the 50 gold. I think it's worth it because every guest gets plus 10. Every drunker gets an additional 20. 
And then we also get this modifier of uh, half prestige for 10 years uh, every month, which is pretty good. It's going to cost a lot of our gold, but um, it kind of pays back because obviously if the uh, vassals like us more, they're obviously going to cause us less trouble. Uh, after having spoken of a dinner with Count Otka, uh, leans over to tell me that he finds it impressive how knowledgeable I am about so many different things. I mean, he looks like he can't be trusted, if I'm honest. He looks suspicious. He's got a lot of modifiers. But uh, he recognizes true in, uh, intellect. He does. He does indeed. And there we go, our guests are departing. With everyone heading for their respective homes, I'm proud to say the feast was a success. I have my wife Sophie to thank for much of its success, and I feel nothing but gratitude as she sees off our fellow guests. I mean, look, she's pretty good. Not gonna lie, she's a pretty good wife to have. She's our physician, she's an astute intellectual, she's got pretty good stats. Doesn't look too bad either. We're in matching green outfits as well. Until next time. So every guest gets plus 20 for 10 years, and we get 150 prestige, so it's kind of worth spending, what, like the 100 gold? It was Actually, I think it was a bit over 100 gold, with the with the event as well, it's like 150 gold, but it was probably worth it, because uh, if we look at our vassal list, yeah, look at these guys now, they're all plus 20, plus 30. Only this person doesn't like us, but that's because he's not on the uh, council, but I don't think we have an empty slot. No, I'm lying, this guy needs to go. Uh, Miroslav. You are, you're, you're, you're going, my friend. Unfortunately, because he's obviously way worse, but uh, it is what it is. Are you any good? Oh, no, you're our, <laughs> you're our bishop. Oh, no, Prince Bishop. So, yeah, he owns a uh, county. He's a knight. So he, no, he's not. I was going to say he must be good at uh, Marshall, but he isn't. He's better than, are you any good at, no. Oh, we'll just leave him there. He's he's not fantastic, but oh, it's because he's lazy and, and gout ridden. So hopefully he cures his gout, then they won't be as much of a problem. And uh, yeah, I think we'll leave everything else. Actually, no, we'll increase our control. Yeah, we need to finish that. So we're gonna be making more money. We've got what plus uh, plus four point five a month, which isn't too bad to be honest. Are we getting any votes in this? I don't think we are because we don't have a notification saying we're like fourth in line or something like that. No, we don't. We're the top person without any votes. Oh, this guy from Leon again. I don't know why they keep voting for this House of Leon. I think they must... Are they related? Oh, it's her son. That's why. Yeah, so the uh, the Kaiserin is actually married to the King of Leon. So, um... If this guy actually, Infante Lope Juanes, if he gets voted in, he'd also be the king of Leon as well as the emperor, which would be pretty interesting to see. But uh, I, I doubt that'll happen. He converted from Franconian to Bavarian. I mean, that doesn't really affect us that much, to be honest. But yeah, there we go. Not too not too bad. I thought it'd take us a little bit longer to get to Austria. Obviously, it's a matter of keeping it, but it looks like we've already killed off most of these factions. Yeah, they're, they're un unlikely to give us much trouble. And like I said, we do have some good alliances, so it's not too much trouble. Um, oh, actually, Prince Magnus Haraldson. I kind of feel like ending this betrothal. Yeah, thanks. Your, your army really helped us, but uh, goodbye. <laughs> their, their army helped us win that war, but uh, we don't need him anymore. So we're going to end that because we we married him off. Uh, we married her off on a normal marriage. So obviously, if by chance our son died, she'd be the player we played next. And then the game would end, basically. So we, we don't want that. Uh, we can marry into Ulster. We don't really want to do that. Count Nordlingu. Um, do you know what? We might actually marry this guy. He's only a count. He does own... Oh, he does own a lot of land, though. Well, he owns two bits of land. Have you got a son that's not married? No. Okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Uh, I was going to say we'll marry her to, uh, to one of our vassals, but I honestly don't think it's worth it, so we will just marry for for another alliance and and people who have claims county of strasbourg our cousin here gerhard von habsburg 
it's a little bit early to do the inter intermarrying, I think. Uh, we don't want to mess up our line too much. Is he the only person with claims, though? Although it is a claim that our house already has, so it's kind of... It's not really worth doing, I don't think. Uh, th how old is she? Nine. Okay, so he could still give us a child. Vladislav, Ragusa, he could give us. There's another one down here. Burgundy. Oh, he has a claim on the Duchy of Burgundy and the County of Dijon. How old is it? Oh, he's 57. Uh, he's too old. Uh, do you know, we'll, we'll just marry this guy. Like I say, during the campaign, uh, our daughters, we're just going to marry them off on hopefully something happening where they will get some land for free, basically, for us. So uh, we're, we're going to see how all that works out. Uh, we can do uh, vassalization wars. So I imagine there's a bit of a list here. We can tax Salzburg. Oh, for our vassal. Ooh, interesting. So we could expand our realm uh, this way. Let's see who else we've got. Staymark. Oh, they were the one we were thinking of taking. Ooh, he is. He wouldn't stay our vassal, though, would he? No. He'd become independent, wouldn't he? Yeah, because we're only a duke. So there's no point in doing that, really. County of Pitten. We could do this. He's only got 600 troops. Bappenberg. Uh, do you know what? We might attack him and take this. It'll make one of our vassals stronger. But, um, yeah, do you know what? Let's do this. Let's keep expanding um, as much as we can. Let's get a uh, spawn point over here. This is the first time we've declared war whilst owning our new lands. Oh, I think he's currently at war with somebody else. He managed to run away. <laughs> no, he hasn't. He changed his mind. Oh, no, he changed it again. <laughs> Doesn't matter. We're going to get him anyway. I mean, this is going to make the uh, the bishop really like us. So it, it has got some other benefit. And it, it does expend our realm, extend our realm. But um, obviously, we're not going to get anything ourselves from this. Nope. I misclicked there. Go back. <laughs> Classic misclick through the UI there. Uh, we really should pay homage to the, the Kaiserin, but uh, it would put us to level 2 of stress, so I really, really don't want to do that, at least until he's older. Oh, we never put a, a focus for him. Joe, he's not too bad. He's already at threes across the board. It's not, not too bad. I think we're going to go... Okay, he doesn't want to be diplomacy focused because he's a bossy child. Joe, you know I might go stewardship focus because then maybe we can focus us on, during his realm on building up the uh, the empire uh, kingdom. Well, duchy, I suppose. Actually, <laughs> it will become a kingdom during his or our lifetime. Actually, saying that, well, what, what kingdom? Oh, it's Bavaria. That's a large kingdom. Yeah, I guess we'll work towards trying to form um, Bavaria. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Definitely going to rename it to Austria. If we get it, so uh, that that is going to happen. Well, it might happen. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you want me to rename it to Austria? Because we, we are making that Habsburg, Austria, uh, Austria-Hungary Empire, uh, ultimately, hopefully. So I might rename it to Austria. We'll see. Maybe maybe we'll just leave it how it is. Oh no, we don't want to attack you. Wait, how is it only 89%? Isn't this the only land he owns? Oh, I suppose we're attacking the whole realm, are we? Yes. Now oh, we've got a... Uh, is it you? Oh, I guess he just has some more troops. I don't think he will cause us too many problems. If he does, we can just obviously take him out and then claim all his land. So it's not the worst, actually, if he does force that through. Aspiring rule. True rule. Yeah, do you know what? Let's go... Uh, let's finish this this off here. It's just going to give us a lot of prestige. We're still pretty young. Yeah, we're only 31. So I think that's going to work out pretty good. Oh, we captured his wife. The Duchess uh, Lydia of Steinmark, who's Dutch. And we've got a daughter as well. Sir Hilda. Uh, she could be learning focused. Why not? And again, we're going to marry her off. Um, just to try get some claims off someone, this guy, because he's 18. So 
He won't be too old. We'll be inbred. Why? House Weimar Lieback? I guess someone historically was of our house from uh, from there. Ulster. Kingdom of Hungary? You. <laughs> I mean, that is the long-term play. If we manage to sort that out in the exact right way where we can do it through marriage, that would be true Habsburg style. Now, we petition the liege. Um, do you want, let's see what we can do here. Oh no, we get 92 stress because we're shy and arrogant. Yeah, no, actually, never mind. <laughs> never mind. That would basically kill us, I think. He'd definitely be on the way to killing us. So, uh, yeah, we're not going to do that. Spouse up to the task. Some of my counselors believe the job is theirs by right of blood or influence alone. How wrong they are. I expect results, yet I'm often disappointed. I mean, they haven't let me down too much, to be honest. Although a lot of these counselors are new. So they're obviously from our new Austrian realm. After a long day, I, after a long day, I'm complaining to Sophie when she interrupts me. Let me do something about it, husband. A few lessons might sharpen their wits, so we can um, help him with uh, diplomacy because he's our chancellor. He only likes us plus fourteen. This will make him dislike us. We probably don't want to risk that, if I'm honest. You're plus fifteen. You're plus eleven. Okay, they'll all hate it. <laughs> Oh no, he'll be grateful. Why would he be grateful? Is it because he's calm and gregarious, I guess? So he doesn't mind? I imagine he is fickle and lazy. Uh, craven, I guess that's why he gets a negative modifier. And then temperate, lazy, cynical. I guess he'd also like it. No, he wouldn't. He'd dislike it as well. Well, we'll teach um, Count Adam here because he's actually going to like the fact that we're helping him. And he's going to get plus two martial and plus one learning. So why not? There we go. That worked out pretty well for us. I mean, to be honest, the bishop's going to love us because we're going to give him this land, basically. There we go. Already expanding the... Oh, yeah, because we gained a hook on him, but he's also going to like us because we... Gave, yeah, press my claim, plus 50. It's a shame he isn't our main bishop because he's got 21 learning, whereas our <laughs> Bishop Martin here... He's got eight. <laughs> so, yeah, I wish we could change this, but we can't, obviously. We need the, the correct doctrine to do so, which we don't have. Um, it has become clear that your bishop is working to establish a false and spurious claim on the Prince Bishopric of Schamburg. Do not think this kind of dishonorable action will go without a response. Um, is that over here somewhere? Yes, it is. Oh, but there is a basis for that claim. <laughs> we say, cool, thanks thanks for letting us know. We're definitely going to do that. Oh, yeah, we can ransom off the Duchess. Do we, She's a lunatic? <laughs> can we do something else instead? Actually, what, what are our traits? Trusting, shy, arrogant. Yeah, okay, we won't mess around with it too much. We'll, we'll, we'll just ransom her off. If we'd been, like, sadistic or something, we would have tried something else before we uh, before we let her go but uh, we'll just do that to lose some duke gerhard we've been burdened with your oppressive laws for far too long uh no never peasant lot is to serve their lord it definitely is so um yeah where did they spawn all the way over here that's gonna be easy for us to put down new cultural area your culture is during the high medieval era oh nice I don't think we're in charge of this yet. No, the guy in Corinthia still is. We can diverge our culture. Oh, we can make Austrian? Diverge from Swe- Oh, we can make the Austrian culture. No cultural pillar changed. Oh, we should do this. We should diverge. After this war, we're going to we're going to make the Austrian culture. Because the great thing is, I think that makes all our vassals convert to that culture. So they'll all like us way more. But we'll win this uh, rebellion first, pretty much straight away. And then we're going to, uh, yeah, form the Austrian culture. And we get to obviously uh, mix it up a little bit. Make it uh, a little bit uh, a little bit more towards our liking, I suppose. So what do we want to be? Bellicose? Courtly? Eg eg egalitarian? <laughs> Definitely how you pronounce that. Stoic? communal 
I don't know. We were bureaucratic, I guess. Uh, Habsburg, courtly. They were known for being like one of the best, uh, you know, houses in Europe. What does that give us? Monthly prestige, 10%. Tower cost reduction. House opinion. Oh, house opinion. Yeah, let's do that one. That seems more like it. Our language is High German or Doyle Vulgar. Don't know where that's from. I guess it's maybe the Swabian or someone else's religion. We'll just stay High German, I guess. And everything else will stay the same. Can we not change these? Oh, we can. We do not have enough to change the um, traditions, though. Yeah, the traditions are a lot more expensive to change. But um, do we want to change them? We might just leave them as they are, to be honest. Mountain homes, city holdings, development growth when a building is constructed. Do you know what? I think we'll just leave these. I, I don't really want to save up like 5,000 prestige to change these. So I think we'll just take what we have. Oh, and it's only 500 uh, prestige to change it. Uh, our close family will convert and 303 of our vassals will convert as well. Uh, the new culture will be created with the US culture. Oh, we'll also become the cultural head and Swabians will like us because we've divergent from Swabians. Let's do it. You become the head of the Austrian culture. The Austrian divergence. Small changes in dialect, slightly different customs. It was easy to miss at first. Over time, small changes have led to large ones. However, now the Swabians living in Austria have begun to identify themselves as Austrian instead. I mean, it fits in quite well with our story. I do like this divergent system because, you know, we were a Swabian. We have moved from our original place to Austria. And now we're saying like, oh, no, we, we've forgotten our old ways, even though it's during like 10 years ago. Um, and we want to become Austrians instead. With an increasing devotion to manners and etiquette, the Austrians are embracing a structured courtly way of life in order to bring around a new age of stability and prosperity to our new empire. Now, with the Austrian people now looking for me for guidance, it is time to set the stage for our shared future. To a new age, a new era, and a new people. So there we go, we've become the Austrians. And I think we take... Yeah, we take all the uh, innovations that the last one had. So we have got most of this, and we are the head of the culture as well. Uh, which one are we... Um, we probably have to play a day for us to, for it to update. No, have we still got some in the lower? Like down here? No. I, I thought one of these would be... Um, uh, you know, where you learn because somebody near you has that one. I've forgotten off the top of my head what it's called now. Typically. Uh, let's do communal government, though. Yeah, we'll do this. And then we will we'll check in after a while. It might take a little bit to uh, to update. But there we go. So our vassal... Well, it said three of our vassals would change. So we'll see what they've decided on. The lure of language. Ruling the multicultural Duchy of Austria comes with its own set of challenges. Foreign subjects often feel alienated when they cannot speak the native tongue in court. My vassal su suggests I should... Learn French. Why bother? Austrian is clearly superior. It clearly is. We just formed it. So uh, don't try to tell us what to do. One taste and you are in heaven. I was passing through a town in my realm when I stopped by the baker, who I'd heard had been renowned for the quality of food he made, particularly his sweet rolls. When I met him, I asked for one sweet, one such sweet roll, and he said, a sweet roll? But of course, I'm famous for my sweet rolls. He's modest, this guy. One taste, and you're in heaven, on top of the world. Yes. I was skeptical at first, but after one bite, I felt like I was in heaven. It was sweet, but not overly so, and had a good balance of flavour and texture. When I asked if he wanted to work for me, he said... I could never leave here. All my good friends here would die without my sweet rolls. I mean, it's a bit much. The rest of the world would suffer. <laughs> I mean, a little bit. A little bit going too far there. Negotiate to pay a lower price for it. So we'll probably choose this one because we are di uh, diplomatic. So this is our special choice because we are diplomatic. And it gives us... Uh, become owner of the sweet roll recipe. Uh, stress gain minus 10%, stress loss plus 10%, quarters and guests plus 4%. Do you know what? Let's do it. Let's get the sweet roll recipe. <laughs> Let's do it. 
Oh, heir will inherit. Oh, so there we go. Yeah. So our heirs are in line for the Duchy of Verona. Oh, yeah. This is you. with what? Third in line? No, second in line for this. Oh, from Corinthia? Interesting. Has he got no children? Oh, they're all female. Wait, is, it, is his inheritance all male? On oh, no, a male preference. Oh, interesting. Well, anyway, we might get that. Or are you in line, second in line for Verona? Oh, so we're actually one of, ahead of our son here, of course. So we're actually second in line for Duchy of Verona. If we killed him and him, well, he's going to die anyway. So he's next in line. He's only had a daughter, so yeah, that's why we're second in line. He's 67 with no wife. Oh, we might get this. Because he's not going to have any more children. We're, we're next... Yeah, we're basically next in line after him. So if he dies, we'll be first in line for uh, Verona. Where's Verona? Oh, it's right here. That'd be awesome. <laughs> we get the full duchy. That'd be pretty good. We'll, 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 be, uh, we'll be laughing if that happened. I'm going to be honest with you. Anyway, guys, we're going to leave it there for today. Oh, Duke Leopold finally died. Oh, no, he was the guy we took the land off. Yep. And Duke Berhold, he was in um, Burgundy, wasn't he? No, he was the head of Corinth. Oh, did he just die? Oh, no, yeah, he died. And then his son, do you know, it's because his son looks so old. I didn't realize. I still thought it was him and that he had um, something happen to him. But no, his son, because um, he doesn't like eating. And he's uh, fl flagrant. So he likes hitting himself as well. His wife looks interesting. <laughs> I suppose. Oh, no, she's too old. She can't have children anymore. I think we're going to get that land for free, you know? Because I don't think that any of them can make children before uh, before we would inherit it. So that's pretty good. Uh, but yeah, anyway, guys, we're going to leave it there for today. Uh, thank you very much, everyone who watched. You know what to do if you've enjoyed today's uh, episode. It's been a good one, so hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new here. Maybe it's the first episode you've seen. I do Crusader Kings content on the channel as well as some other games as well. And uh, yeah, we're well... Oh, Provence became independent somehow. Interesting. Uh, we might actually attack that. I guess we can. Oh, no, we don't. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> just waffling on at the end here now. Um, yeah, we've done pretty well here. In the next episode, we're probably going to, well, see if that claim happens. And then we're going to carry on taking the land around us. We're going to wait for the King of Bavaria to die. In fact, we'll pin him now because when he dies, I think Hungary will split away from him. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, no, it won't. It won't. Oh, no, because he hasn't got any children, so one person will inherit everything. So, anyway, we're going to try work towards getting Hungary off, off this guy or his son. And, uh, and then we'll see what else happens. It's Crusader Kings. You know, crazy things happen. And then looking around the world, not a lot going on, to be honest. And Norway's doing quite well. We've got Sweden uh, as well. So, if these became unified, we could get a AI Scandinavia going. Um, but apart from that, nothing else crazy. France's doing quite well for itself, to be honest. We're going to have to watch out for that. And, uh, and that's it. So yeah, we're going to leave it there for today. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.